Namaste everyone. My name is Rajat and I'm back with one more new video. So guys, I know you guys are going very crazy with this quarantine. The shit came in the world and you you guys are crazy about the time and you are just killing this time. So I just say this is not a symbol of uh, a gentleman who who just killed this time, you know. So you guys, what you have to do is you have to behave different from the normal people. What they are doing? What is symbol of gentleman? Keep in your mind that gentleman never, never ever stuck in a situation. He always tried to come out of the situation, or he learned from the situation. Are, are you getting my point? What I'm trying to say is he always tried to come out of the situation, or he always learned from the situation. He never stuck in the situation. So today we're gonna discuss about five things, five habits which you're gonna include if you're gonna include this in your habit. I promise if you convert this habit, you're gonna look different, you're gonna find out yourself different from the normal people when this shit gonna be finished. So let's hit to the target. Number one is to-do list. Always gentlemen need to man to need to need to have the to-do list. What to-do list is you need to organize your day. What are you gonna do in a whole day? What are the plans you have? What usually happens is once we start our day, we start with a great ease, the morning, we just chill ourselves and once the day starts, we start deviating from the phone, our family members and blah 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 shit. So what you have to do is you don't have to oh, deviate from the you know your daily routine. So if you have a to-do list, you're not gonna deviate from your so prepare from today to do this. The second one is make a relation. What is symbol of gentleman? He never had a bad relation. I never had a bad relation with anyone. Hope so in past. But I'm sorry for if anyone had a bad relation with me. So uh, gentlemen always need to uh, need not to have a bad relation with anyone. What you have to do is call your friends, call your family members who live far from your place. Call them, ask them how they are, how they are doing in their quarantine or something, you know, how they are, how, uh, are they okay or not, they need something or what, what they are feeling about this corona and all such things. You can discuss with them, you can call to them, try to find out your old friends on Facebook or somewhere, right? You can just have a good relation, a strong relation with your friend because in again back to normal life, you're not going to get this time to engage yourself in a in a uh, talking with people and all such things. The third thing is very very important. You need to keep in your mind is exercise. I'm not saying you're gonna be bulky or you know having six pack or something. What you have to do is you have to do some little exercise. You have to move your butts. You have to move your butts. <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to do some yoga or some, some light exercise, some cardio, or some weight lifting. You can do anything, any kind of physical activity for 30 to 45 minutes, which will help you to make you something, you know, your body running. Because in usual days, what we go do, we go to office, we do some physical activities, walk, but in nowadays in quarantine at home, we are not doing any kind of physical activities. So better engage yourself, your body in a, uh, some, some kind of physical activity, which will help you to look fit and sexy. That's, that's how gentlemen look like, right? Fit and sexy. The fourth thing is read and write. It's the most and most important thing you can do. You can read books, any kind of books, spiritual books, novel, or whatever the books you like, love stories, whatever is your favorite. You can write your emotions. You can write your own autobiography. You can write your own biography, right? You can start writing your feelings, your emotion, and once you will go from this, to that planet, you can offer it to your kids. That that was my biography. They they will come to know about you. The whole world come to know about you. So you can start writing about your own biography. The last thing you can do is learn a new skill. The fifth one is learning a new skill. What if, what can be a new skill? As as for your profession, you can learn something. For example, if you are a civil engineer. So you can learn um, AutoCAD, BIM, if you are IT professional, try new codings. You can learn as per your profession, you can start learning a new, new uh, skill. That will help you to grow in your profession, to get a promotion in your company after the current time. You can just rock in your office, right? 
you can do some yoga meditation you can try new pose you can start dancing you can start something new but try so gentlemen this is your time your time to build your own empire now it's your choice you want to build your empire or destroy your empire hope so you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share thank you so much for watching namaste